Hey, thanks for watching the Drawing for Adults class brought to you by the Ann Arbor District Library and the Ann Arbor Art Center. Today we're going to be drawing Mexican Amate bark paintings and these are inspired by um, these amazing folk art, this amazing folk art style um, from Mexico. And so this paper, this background you're seeing right here, it is actually made from bark. That's why we call it um, bark paintings or bark artwork. And so here you can see the bark. It's actually kind of like the pulp sort of that comes from the bark of trees and it's really interesting there's some wonderful videos that you can watch on YouTube so I encourage you to uh, do a quick little search to get some process videos and a great description of how the paper is produced but from there um, then the paper is then used to create these beautifully designed works of art that have have really intricate designs and bold bright colors. So if you are really into making paper you could definitely try to make your own version or something similar if you'd like as a background. Otherwise I am going to use a tan sheet of paper to start and then I'm going to use some oil pastels to give it um, that kind of texture. You can make it more textured if you want. You could dye it with um, watercolors or ink. One thing I recently did was I made my own ink out of black walnuts and it was really fun and it wasn't that difficult either um, and that would that would create a really interesting design if you wanted to do something a little bit more unique as a background to kind of honor that process um, that um, that's more traditional in that the paper itself uh, is is part of the process is a huge part of the process versus just the design alone. So once you're satisfied with the way that your paper looks, you can go ahead and start sketching. Now I would really encourage you to look back at some original Mexican Amate bark paintings or artwork. Some of them are um, more of an embroidered type of thing versus just a painting. So figure out, uh, you know, look at some different designs to kind of get you in the right direction. Notice the repetition and the bold, bright color colors on kind of a darker paper so and then from there you can of course start sketching so I'm just starting with a you know a pencil sketch and drawing in a decent amount of detail here and with the intention to come back after I've sketched out everything and start filling in with um, some oil pastels just to color in my designs. I also encourage you to try to stick to the subject matter that is more traditional rather than doing something that is more random. We want to make sure we honor the culture and that we are giving respect to the culture that we are making art um, based off of rather than appropriating it into something different. So um, I am looking at some examples. I'm not necessarily copying. I'm just looking at some examples of how um, these artists have have, uh, you know, drawn and created these designs as well as added some color. So I have a bird as my uh, focal point in the center and then I have some floral uh, designs in the background. So now that I have sketched everything out, I am good to go to start adding in some bright colors. So just like the artists um, that create these beautiful designs, um, just like they do, I am adding in some, also some really bright colors. Now, if you have a really dark paper that you are coloring on top of, something that can be really helpful if you're coloring with oil pastels is actually to color over the area that you want to color with white first. So you may not have seen it because it was really fast, but those two little green leaves up above the bird that are colored in right now, um, that one that's a little bit higher and a little bit more towards the right, that has a base of white underneath and you can really see, I mean, it's not 
super noticeable, but you can tell that it's a little bit brighter. And obviously I'm doing this digitally, so there's always gonna be a little bit of a difference as much as I try to make it as, you know, real to the materials that I'd actually be using uh, when I do this, there's gonna be some differences. And one of them is often just the opacity of the material. So um, sometimes that also just depends on what brand of paint or what brand of oil pastels or you know charcoal or whatever you're using um can also have a difference so um anyway so i just wanted to mention that so that you're aware of that fun little um i don't know if i'd call that a hack or a tip or something but putting a little bit of white underneath will certainly make the colors that you're using a little bit more bold and bright all right, so I'm gonna pick up the speed on my time-lapse video here so that it will fill in all of my little designs a little bit faster. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in some little dots just to add some extra, um, you know, pattern, extra just depth and texture and variety within the piece as a whole. So that can be a great thing to do, especially if you've got some awkward gaps that weren't quite large enough to maybe, you know, fill in with another flower or something like that and um, or another you know bird or whatever you're doing um, but it can be nice to just help fill the space and then now I'm going to transition into that black outline now because I was doing this digitally you can see my pencil lines pretty obviously um, and they are pretty black but if you did this with an actual pencil you know you can't really see your pencil lines that much but you might be able to see them a little bit and we don't really want those to show through so what you can do now is adding a black outline if you're using oil pastels doing that can be a little bit challenging with an oil pastel so another little hack or uh, tip is to use a black colored pencil it'll be a little tricky to do that um, you know right on top of oil pastels but if you're going around it anyway it should do the trick and you'll be able to create a nice fine line versus something really thick and chunky that might, uh, you know, kind of detract from your painting. So um, anyway, I hope that you have enjoyed today's uh, art lesson here and that you will create some really colorful um, Mexican Amate bark painting inspired designs today. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching today's video.